play stupid games, win stupid prizes, episode 14. This could be the one that gets me kicked, but let's go for it anyways. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my backup channel. All right, let's get back to the genius bar. This young man behind me here was playing with firecrackers and putting them in his mouth to see what happens when he lights them. Not stopping to think if this was a good idea or not, he proceeds to go through with it. Anything other than a Mondo Duke that makes you make this face is probably not something you should do. And it appears as though the aftermath left a knife gaping slash through his lips. I think he's the only one shocked in this entire segment that that is exactly what would happen is you would blow your lips out. All right, so here was a Serbian basketball game and this gentleman here in the red goes up to take the shot and gets frustrated at the outcome, be it a foul that was called after he made it. He can't contain his emotions, so he runs over and slams his forehead against that blue bag there holding up the basketball hoop. What he didn't realize is that those are very strong and very bad for your head. He had immediately hits the ground and actually suffered paralysis from the neck down. He would ultimately end up in a wheelchair the rest of his life, and 13 years after that, he would die from heart failure. All right, so I've lived in Florida pretty much my entire life, and there are two rules in Florida. One, do not stand under a tree during a lightning storm, and two, don't swim in our lakes. This is what lightning looks like when it strikes a tree. The amount of force lightning has is insane. And if you're thinking, holy crap, it just killed three people, you'd be wrong. It took the fourth guy's legs a second to fully collapse. All right, so this girl here was homeless, and she was sleeping in the grass. Grass being this kind of field right here. I believe this is an actual image of there. I try to be as accurate as possible. Unfortunately for her, it was lawn day. Now, the articles I was reading didn't really indicate what was the problem, but basically there was a pull behind mower. It didn't show any photos, but this is kind of the idea you get. And it was set to mow the grass that day. She had passed out in the grass, whether it be from sleeping or they said possible drug use, um, but she didn't hear the lawn mower. And the mower guy didn't see her as the arms of the lawn mowers extend out past his um, equipment. And he actually plowed her over and there were chunks of her flown everywhere. It may go without saying, but she did not make it. 